I've always got a lot out of in in my in work at work about thinking about architectural projects as being about time primarily. And maybe a good example of that is I think this is Rosalind Krauss's essay like, Art in the Expanded Field, which is about kind of land art and stuff, that um there's a description of or, or an interpretation of Richard Serra's sculptures which show that at that point the sculptural project was um, you being forced to walk uh, around an object in a landscape uh, and that that made the the art project about that that journey and the time spent around the work which I thought was a really interesting way of thinking about the work which we tend to we tend to think of sculpture as you know, primarily an object that, 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 and that one looks at it. And here was a, um, a, a form of sculpture that, because of its scale and because it was placed necessarily outside the gallery and in, in landscapes or in cities, that um, it suddenly turned the work or stretched the work from being about the object to the time and the experience of just getting around it. And I thought that was a very a very good way of understanding what many architectural projects could be, which is that you are creating journeys that have durations. And then the project is about what is the time spent do and what are you doing during that time? And the architecture is just a means to creating time. So and I think you know if you look at some Renaissance house planning, you know, there's there's rooms for different parts of the day and they would you know like we well, like you know, Palladio's um, Villa Rotunda, you know, each room addresses a different um, part of the compass and so there'd be a room that you'd spend the morning in and a room you spend lunch in and, and that maybe that's a very explicit um, translation from the kind of ideas about Sarah to architecture. And I, and I find that a very useful way because it, of thinking about projects in the office because it means you're not thinking about the form as an object, you're thinking about the form as making time.